Oh, clowns love eating garbage. Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the Arctic North of Baraboo, Wisconsin. I'm joined today by Trevor Widow. We're at Circus World, which is a museum of sorts. Now Trevor, you're in the in the industry, is that correct? Uh, I'm not fully in the industry, but I wish to someday be in the circus Okay, an aspiring yes. circus performer. What do you do? Uh, I do magic, clowning, juggling, and all of that jazz. Awesome, so he's gonna educate me as we peruse the Circus World Museum. Follow us. Nine sons and two daughters, three of them died, but um, the main five uh, survived, which are the Ringling Brothers that we come to know and love. There's five Ringling Brothers? There are five. Technically, there are seven. Wow. Yes. I always uh, just assumed it was just two guys for some reason in my head. Yeah. Taxidermy. Um, oh, this yeah. This is an exhibit on display. Oh, wow. That's, in a museum. That's a lot of taxidermy crammed yes. into a small place. We got alligators and squirrels and a monkey and all sorts of birds. That is cool. Made in 1887. 1887. I love these old circus posters. It's completely insane. This wizard's name is black -a man It's the most tragic love story. I've ever heard. So she was married to Alfredo Condonza and they were married and they were part of Ringling Brothers. They were divas if you will. They weren't the nicest to the crew and stuff and her big act was the one-armed planges. So she would take herself with her body then lift her up and flip herself over and she'd go over a hundred times. The crowd, she would be centering, the crowd just counts one, two, three, over and over. Um, however, one day the rigging broke and she fell uh, down into the ring. She died the next morning due to complications. Oh, man. And then this loved Alfredo very depressed and disappointed. So uh, he took a break. He had uh, some injuries later in his life, so he couldn't continue his flying act. He then remarried to Vera. and. That marriage did not go well. Vera, he was abusive to her, so Vera filed for a divorce. And so then he, yeah, she filed for the divorce and then they were having a meeting with one of the lawyers. And Vera and her mom were there and Alfredo asked the lawyer if he could speak to his wife privately. The lawyer said, okay, fine. Uh, but the mo her mother would not leave. So it is said that the lawyer went uh, Alfredo closed the door behind, takes the gun, and shoots Vera in the head and chest and her mother in the chest. Oh my god. The mother survived, but Vera uh, sadly passed, and then he committed suicide. Gosh. And in his suicide note, uh, his one last wish is to be buried next to his one and only love, Lillian Hitzel. That is some dark circus history. Yes, the circus has a lot of dark <laughs> history. It's not all fun and games. No, this is the you always think of Lou Jacobs' name is usually Emmett Kelly, which was the classic tramp clown. What's that called again? Unifon. The Unifon. There's the electric instrument, and then it's played on a keyboard, and then those um, beaters hit the thing kind of like a doorbell. Rub chimes, you take the gloves, which are leather gloves, you put them, work rosin into the fingertips, and you go down. It's not the most pleasant of sound, but... <laughs> but it's a sound. Yes, it is. Uh, rattle chimes. You crank it and it just rattles the chimes. Uh, tune sleigh bells. Uh, the Hammond organ. And then the Calliope. In circus we call it a Calliope. Outside the circus, people usually say Calliope, but it's Calliope. Really? Yes. Calliope? Yep, Calliope. I've always heard Calliope. Nope, it's a Calliope. <laughs> so this one is a part of a group of three that still survive. Originally, that it was advertised, I believe there were around nine. There's only evidence that seven were built, but each one of these pony floats 
uh, representative different fairy tale. So the three that survive are Cinderella, Mother Who Lived in a Shoe, and Woman Who Lived in a Shoe, and Mother Goose. Alright, so we got Trevor there, and, and, oh my god, he's a gorilla. A horrifying gorilla. Some sideshow posters up there. This is a cross section of his tusk. Cross section of Jumbo's tusk. World's well, most famous elephant, and then hairs from his tail. Now I've heard, I heard that they taxidermied Jumbo, but he mm -hmm. was destroyed in a fire. Yep, there he is. Yeah, he's actually, I believe he was actually taxidermied by uh, Carl Akeley, mm -hmm. the father of taxidermy. Mm -hmm. And then she died um, in a parade. When the horses come bucked and she was thrown off the wagon and died. That is so sad. <laughs> yep. And then a good old-fashioned flea oh, circus. Oh, I love the flea circus. Get the tiny little flea carts. All right. So what's in this? Oh, the tiger and some club music for some reason. <laughs> Most famous clown face of all time. What did you say his name was? Lou Jacobs. Lou Jacobs. This is his car is covered completely in carpet. Along with Pet Happy. This was called the sh rug bug. The rug bug. Yes. Not the carpet mobile. <laughs> <laughs> so he would have been the clown in residence. Happy the clown. Felix Adler and then Otto Griebling up there. So famous white face and a famous tramp clown. <laughs> yeah, it's like rags. Mm -hmm. Very popular in the Depression era. That's where the tramp clown came from because it was more relatable for the audience. Really? Mm -hmm. You think, I don't know, you think like people would be sensitive to <laughs> making fun of poor people or whatnot. Yeah, so you have the character tramp clown. Then you have the white face. The white face is always the proper clown. And then the ghost is usually the one that takes the pies. He gets hit in the face with the pies? A goose, yeah. And then white face usually are the ones that get throw the pies. So. Interesting. It's like the clown hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Also, wood hammer. And then you have a, I call it gunshot. Because then you put in a blade. So you have a giant hammer loaded with shotgun shells. And then that makes a big bang when you hit someone. Wow. So this is a padded hammer so you can just yep. hit someone mm -hmm. really hard with it and look yep. like you're clobbering them. And then what's the wood hammer for? I mean, it's just for effects. So you just don't swing it around so you're not yep. carrying a full sledgehammer. My favorite story about Merle Evans, um, he had, there was a curse to march. Uh, whenever they played it, something bad would happen. And I think, let me check my book. Book of Random Bob. Yeah, the Light Cavalry March. Um, yep, they played it once in Oklahoma, and then after playing, playing it, uh, the train crashed, killing 16 people. Then they played it again on the Miller's Brothers Circus, uh, or Miller Brothers uh, um, Ranch Wild West, and then a blowdown, and a blowdown is when the entire Ted goes Ted down. Um, and then they played it one last time, he gave it one more time, and immediately after a cornet player died. Oh. And so then he, it was thought that he took all the parts, tied them up in a nice little bundle, and threw them off the nearest bridge. Wow. Never to see it again. <laughs> Although, um, with the July 6th, uh, Hartford Fire. Uh, oh, the Hartford Fire. That was a huge one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because back in the day, what they did was to waterproof the tents. I believe uh, they used, like, gasoline, kerosene, or whatever. Oh, and yeah. when it dried, it became waterproof. However, in July heat, you know, with temperatures way high, 
all of a sudden part of it got fired. Now there's this entire controversy also. They don't know if it was deliberately done because there was a cigarette butt. So it's still... So they started playing the Stars and Stripes Forever. And that means everybody get up. It is also, uh, July 6th is also known as the day the, the clowns cried because over a hundred people died and I would say 90 to 98 percent of them were children. Oh God. The biggest fat man. You can see the biggest... all the different weights of all the All right, fat people with the circus. Who's the fattest man? I believe it's Ruth. Ruth Baby Pontico. 815 pounds. Oh my gosh. Okay. This was the Star Wars for, for, for Ringling Brothers. For Ringling Brothers. Yep, so, this oh. is. Oh wow. This is Gargantua. Gargantua the Great. Originally named Buddy, it was a house pet. Before he grew too big. Um, but the reason for the big ugly face is because when he was being transported over to the United States, a sailor got a bit rowdy and poured acid all over his face. Oh my gosh! Yep. But they built this especially for him. It was all air conditioned. This, this is actual mm -hmm. chrome. Gargantua was Gargantua was billed as the world's most terrifying living creature. Yeah. Those are where they would clean out the stalls of all the food. They were called manure chutes. Manure chutes, nice. And then right next to it, that big building, that's where all the keepers lived because they were right by the elephants 24-7. Right there? If anything okay. Needed. Yeah, I didn't realize this when I showed up. Trevor was explaining to me. This grounds is actually where Ringling Brothers like kept all their animals, rehearsed their acts, basically the headquarters of Ringling Brothers Circus. Still comprehend. Each one of those rings, mm -hmm. that's one elephant. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're so close together. So they'd line up the elephants right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when Circus World first opened, uh, this barn was completely or all original. However, there were a lot of floor deteriorating and stuff, and uh, they need to make it safer because there are big holes in the floor. So they tore up all the floor and um, put laid concrete. So the only original floor from this barn that remains is here. Oh, <laughs> this little corner. Yep. This is what the elephant, an elephant bike, if you wish. An elephant bike? <laughs> what, like, what does an elephant ride this? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, I guess I'm significantly less weight than an elephant, so I'm unable to turn. Elephant riding a bike, that's, that's ridiculous. You know, Great Circus Parade in Milwaukee, when they used to have that. So that's, they don't have that anymore, right? That's discontinued? No. The last one, I believe, was in 2009. They brought it back for the one year. So this is my favorite area. Old John. Old John was a um, was a male elephant, which was really rare because male elephants are usually more um, violent and you know more rowdy than yeah. women, uh, female elephants. So the Ringling Brothers mainly made out female elephants, except for Old John. Old John, especially, he was actually nice. But elephants are smart. So he realized that the, his caretakers worked right across, right where that barn was. That's right um, behind this wall. So if he needed to get, if he wanted his caretakers to come, he would bang his head into the wall. <laughs> and that's why we have these bricks. That's from old John trying to get... The Banging bricks. his head against the wall to get mm -hmm. their attention? That's crazy. Another thing he liked to do was to go into the rafters, pull these rafters, um, and play with the rafters. However... Sounds like fun. <laughs> that was a problem because structurally that couldn't happen if one of these come down. The, the yep. building would collapse. Mm -hmm. So, again, elephants are smart. So what they did was they attached these nails here right above him. 
So he wouldn't wrap his trunk around so it? So he did it once and he never did it again. <laughs> <laughs> because with the amount of elephants that they had, yeah. you know, there wasn't a day that this got probably under... Uh, just know. a bunch of like steamy elephant heat in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elephant costume. He's Borgnine's his costume. Oh, Ernest Borgnine. Mm -hmm. Alright, I've actually got a story. <laughs> Ernest Borgnine's clown outfit. So apparently, Ernest Borgnine made a comment at one point that he never got to play a clown in a movie. So when they did the circus parade, um, they allowed him to dress up like a clown and march in the parade. Now, my dad was working at the Fister Motel, and they would set up a special banquet for Ernest Borgnine, and he would usually stop by for just a few minutes, stick his head in, and wave. But they had a guy come in with a monkey, I guess a circus performer who had a monkey, and um, the cook walked out of the back, and the monkey leaped across the restaurant, grabbed onto his shirt, got in his face, bared his teeth, and was just screaming in this guy's face, and he was petrified with fear, and there was sweat just running down his face. So, no real end to that story, but I just <laughs> always thought that was hilarious. Or reptiles, the things that couldn't keep warm by themselves. Okay. Um, so on this side would be snakes and all that kind of stuff. On the other side would be where the lions and all that, those people were kept because they had the fur and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Legend, I think it's true. I'm not 100% sure, but so all these barns, once Ringling Brothers left here, they were all converted into places. I believe this used to um, refurbish school buses and repair those. But for some reason, they all understood how important these barns were. So the floor that used to be here, this is right above us. So they put the floor on the ceiling? Yep. That's the original floor of the animal park. <laughs> That's amazing. Also, when they poured the concrete, I don't know if this is the part that I said I don't know is true. Here used to be where the hippo was, and it was this big, giant tank. Yeah. We do, it is possible that they did not remove the tank, so under here is the original the hippo, hippo tank. Ringling Brothers hippo tank. Interesting. One day we hope to. I don't know. Yeah, almost. I don't know. It might just be my imagination, but it looks like it might be like a little, teeny bit sunken down in that spot. down at the circus. And one day during the winter, the snake got out of its cage and slithered around and ended up right around here. And it, overnight it got cold, so the snake went to come a, you know, hibernation state. Well, the workers came in the next morning and they see this what they think, dead snake on the ground, they're yeah. like, oh no, we're going to get fired, we're going to get killed. So what they did is they took the snake and they uh, threw it in the manure pile, which would be right by the river down there. Oh no. And so and then they put manure on top of it. Now, manure, of course, has, you know, it's warm and stuff. Yeah. So the snake kind of thawed out and then started to live there because it was a nice warm place. It was right next to the river, so it had plenty of, you know, river uh, rats. And then when it came time to, you know, put the circus back on the road, uh, they sold their elephant manure to the farmers because elephant manure is, and all these different wild animals, the manure is perfect for farming. Yeah. So one of the farmers comes in with a shovel and all of a sudden they hear screams from the office. And they all run out, what's happening? What's wrong? And here comes the 18 foot snake. Jeez. So then uh, they took it, they washed it up and it was, uh, went down to perform. <laughs> yep. This uh, one point. Three, the three largest circuses were operated from this uh, site. Adam Four Palm, Cell Brothers, Ringling Brothers, and then Barnum and & Bailey. Uh, 
and they were all operated out of this one little office in that side of there that is where they held all their money where at in that little side oh that brick mm-hmm that was just a big box of money yep <laughs> I was talking about the 100 horses. This is the one that held 100 bagged horses. It is the least touched out of all the barns. Oh yes, this is just pretty much left mm -hmm. how it was. Be careful where you step. Because <laughs> sometimes there are holes. This is really cool. Caretakers would be walking on the lower wood and then the higher wood would be where the stalls were. So the horses would be uh, over yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh wow. All these circus wagons. Pack more. Okay, that makes sense. This one used to hold a puma. A puma? puma. Or puma. Yeah. The black panther. Black cat. What's that called? Is it a puma? I think a puma and a jaguar are the same thing. Yeah. Countries. Let's see, Korea, China, Siam, Tartary. Must be some sort of obscure country that doesn't exist. <laughs> Arabia. Is that supposed to be Barnum? Nope, this is Great Britain. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> this one was, I believe... Let me this one. Yeah, this was a part of the Ringling 1903 purchase. Okay. Um, over here, have you seen the movie Water for Elephants? Yes. Yes? This is the one where he reached into the cage. Water for Elephants used a lot of the uh, Circus World wagons. So they used vintage wagons in mm -hmm. the movie? And this yep. one was actually featured in the movie? Yep, this is the one where he reaches inside to feed the tiger, and then the tiger bites his hand. That was right here. Okay, yeah. And this is Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Mm -hmm. This was originally found as a chicken coop it was being used as. As in it was being used as a chicken coop? Despite the fact that it was a priceless antique? <laughs> well, when they found it, all that really uh, was there was like just parts of it. They didn't have any of the wheels or anything. And all they, but the reason why they found out it was a circus way in was because of this big cut. They saw this and they're like, I think that's a circus way. And so then they looked into it and sure enough, it was Buffalo Bill's Wild West. That's crazy. I always like to ask people, what is wrong with the tiger? What is wrong with the tiger? Um, hmm. He has no ears? Nope. <laughs> He's... Uh, I give up. He has five claws instead of four. Five claws instead of four? Yep, he has one extra claw. Oh, on his hands? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Like a cat, because yeah. a cat has four claws, and then they added the fifth. Hey, they probably just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Made it more fierce looking. Ringling Brothers originally said that uh, they had the world's only living giraffe, until another circus um, saw that they were making a lot of money on this giraffe. So then they decided to get a giraffe from Africa. And then all of a sudden, they couldn't say that they had the world's only living giraffe. <laughs> this is a, that actually just put the giraffes in here and have their heads mm -hmm. sticking out the top? Mm -hmm. It was very hard to figure out how to transport them. <laughs> is there a goose? Or is that a witch? Another goose. No. I guess that would be uh, Buffalo Bill up there. Pawnee Bill. Pawnee Bill? Yes. Who's Pawnee Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Another Bill. <laughs> is, is he a ripoff? <laughs> uh, Pawnee Bill Wild West. So this is a pure spectacle um, wagon. As in, as in it serves no function other than looking really cool? Yes, yeah, so in the circus they had a big spectacle which is where they take all their wagons and they would parade around the Hippodrome track which is the space between 
the ring curb and the audience. Mm -hmm. They do appraise, and this is why, you know, they said, we have casts of, you know, 20,000 people when all they had was 100 people. But as soon as they left, they did a quick costume change, ran up and got on top of them the next <laughs> wagon to come and pulled out. Um, but no, the reason why this is strictly um, spectacle is because nothing else fits in it besides the tail, the wings, and the heads. Oh, so it like collapses into itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very like, 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 like Disney uh, parades. That's very mm -hmm. similar to kind of even what they have to this day. The, uh, like the Asian, the Asia um, wagon. This is the America. U.S. East. I guess he's an East Coaster. <laughs> oh, and then U.S. West, they have a Native American. And then some of these they didn't repaint from the movies, uh, Water for Elephants. So here we still have the Benzini Brothers Circus. There. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Benzini Brothers never existed, it was just for the movie. All right, so that's a human cannon loaded up on the back of this flatbed. Wasn't here. It was just a straight cage. Yeah. However, once they loaded the hippo in, she went in. She went to the tank over here, but she couldn't get out. So they had to add a few inches to either side so she would be able to turn around in the in the wagon. Really? <laughs> Hippopotamus. From River Nile. I believe it was from. So this is where they, this is where they fix up the old wagons. The big, the big project right now is the woman who lived in the shoe. The woman who lived in the shoe. Yes, the third of the fairy tale. Okay. That one was being worked on right there. Oh yeah. There's the shoe. That's cool. All right, here we have it, the Sparks Brothers Circus Wagon. This is the circus. I've talked about it in several videos. Mary the Elephant and her execution. This is the circus she worked for. I'll put a link down below. There's little animals. Here's the sideshow. Is that CeeLo? The seal boy. Marvin man without a stomach. The sideshow posters. Looks like we have a little Native American dance at this circus. This is the horse. Whoa! This floor's a little uneven. <laughs> the horses will be packed in here. A little snug. Ah, oh, there's some elephants. Hey there. Ah, <laughs> uh, these old sideshow banners. There's Cheng and Ang. Tallest, smallest, thinnest, fattest. Oh wow. Recreations. Some of the famous freaks. We got Chang and Ang. My boys. Been to their grave. It's that band of flesh that they're connected by. Miss Jane Campbell, the fat lady. This is James Coffey. General Tom Thumb and Anna Swan. The bearded lady. Oh, it's Jojo the dog faced boy. I think it's got a little bit of hair in his face. Fire breather. Snake dance. Sword Swallow, and there is Barnum himself. Circus Sideshow Attraction.
action is about to begin. Right over here is where you are about to see the greatest collection of human oddities ever assembled under Got an actual big top here. you know in a few days and all of a sudden the same tiger got loose it all did the same havoc everybody was running around the same exact way so it was all, all right so circus world in baraboo wisconsin much more awesome than i even thought it would be it's actually so much circus history right in that spot in addition to the museum and then i'd like to thank trevor for showing me all the cool little easter eggs um, because he knows that place up and down. So, appreciate you guys watching these, uh, videos. Um, if you'd like to see the other places that I've visited, I have an interactive map down in the description that shows you all the places I've been, and you can make suggestions on places that you think I should go. Also, I have a Patreon where I will send you postcards if you donate at least $3 a month, and I sell t-shirts. And this one is in the bag.